Nautilus is a popular GUI file manager for Linux and is the default file manager in Ubuntu Linux 12.04. It functions similarly to Windows Explorer on Windows System and Finder on Macs. One key feature of Nautilus is the ability to add custom functionality by incorporating user-created back-end scripts. These scripts work much like plugins for a web browser and extend Nautilus's basic functionality. We have included a number of custom Nautilus scripts in the BitCurator environment, specifically geared to assist the digital archivist in pre-ingest data analysis. Follow this video for specific instruction on how to use Nautilus to perform a number of critical data analysis tasks. To use the various Nautilus scripts explained in this video, you'll need to be selecting the file or files that you're interested in. For the examples in this video, I'll be using a folder on the desktop and the file inside it. Navigate to the file or files for which you would like to calculate MD5 sums. Select the desired file or files. Right-click on any of the file icons and select Scripts, File Analysis, Calculate MD5. Select whether you would like the MD5 sum to be displayed or saved. If you have selected multiple files, the output will be saved by default. If you choose to save the MD5 sums, a file listing each of the MD5s will be generated in your present directory. That file appears here in my present directory. If I'd prefer to display the MD5 sum on screen, I can repeat the process going to Scripts, File Analysis, Calculate MD5, and choose Display on Screen. And you can see the MD5 hash displayed at the beginning of that field. The file info add-on to Nautilus allows the user to perform a number of file identifying tasks including gathering metadata, generating ASCII and Unicode streams, and viewing MD5 and SHA-1 hash sums. To run file info, navigate to the desired file, right-click on the file, and select Scripts, File Info. Choose the desired report from the menu. In this example, I'll choose the About report and click OK to view it. To close file info when you're done looking at the various reports, instead click the Cancel button. To show file name, size, blocks, access permissions, and history, navigate to the desired file, right-click on the file, and select Scripts, File Analysis, Show File Details. Navigate to the desired file, right-click on the file, and select Scripts, File Analysis, View in Hex Editor. Right-click anywhere within the Nautilus browser and select Scripts, Find Files. Select either Find by Content or Find by Name, depending on your search requirements. After the Find interface opens, type your search terms into the search window and click Find. Open the Nautilus file browser. Navigate to the top of the directory tree you would like to search. For example, to search for all images in a user's home directory, navigate to home slash username. Right-click anywhere within Nautilus and select Scripts, Find Files, Find Images Recursively. Nautilus will open a new window and create a temp directory with some links to all the images found in the directory or directories you searched. After completing the search, click No when asked if you want to delete the temp directory. Open Nautilus and navigate to the archive you would like to decompress. Right-click on the file that has been compressed using zip or gzip. Select Open with Archive Manager. Note that a compressed file type such as a zip file is often referred to as an archive within the Ubuntu Linux environment and technical communities. A new window will open from which you can either browse the contents or extract them. 
left click on the extract button to extract the contents. Navigate to the location to which you would like the files extracted using the navigation window. In this example, I'll navigate to the desktop. Left click the extract button on the bottom right of the window to complete the process. You may now choose to show the files. One of the primary benefits to using forensics disk images, as opposed to a raw disk image, is that the metadata created during the imaging process is packaged with the disk image itself. That way, no matter where the disk image is moved, its metadata always travels with it. This Nautilus script allows users to quickly and easily view the forensics metadata associated with either an NCASE, an EO1, or Advanced Forensics Format, AFF, disk image. Navigate to the directory containing either an AFF or EO1 disk image. In our case, it's in our disk images folder on our desktop, and it's an EO1 disk image. Right click on the disk image and select Script, Disk Image Info, and either Show AFF Info or Show EO1 Info depending on what type of disk image you're working with. We're working with an EO1, so we'll select this option. A new window will open displaying the forensics metadata captured during the disk imaging process. The metadata displayed includes the case or accession number, a description of the original media, the name of the processor, original media size, date the disk image was created, any hashes created during the imaging process, and more information. This concludes our screencast tutorial. For other uses of BitCurator, please see the other videos on our wiki at wiki.bitcurator.net. You can also visit the wiki to find written documentation and the latest version of BitCurator. We'd like to invite you to join our Google group, where you can ask questions and get answers about BitCurator use. You can find a link by scrolling to the bottom of our wiki, wiki.bitcurator.net, and clicking on Join Our Google Group. Thanks for watching.